Tonight, two drivers involved in a serious crash in Hanover County are now facing charges. As you can see, one of the cars hydroplaned and then crashed, ending up under a tractor trailer. Storm Tracker 8 reporter Nicole Dantzler is live with some suggestions from state police on how to avoid a crash like this when the roads are wet. Nicole. Indiana, Virginia State Police troopers and Hanover fire crews responded to the crash along I-95 yesterday afternoon. Crews even had to rescue one of the drivers trapped inside their car following that impact. Tragic photos showing the aftermath of a car crash in Hanover County. Virginia State Police troopers responded to I-95 yesterday afternoon. They say 22-year-old Lauren Ott, who was driving a Honda Civic, hydroplaned and crashed into a tractor trailer. The car came to a stop under the trailer and got stuck. That's when Hanover Fire and EMS crews helped her out of the car. Ott went to the hospital with serious injuries, but she's expected to be okay. Jessica Sheehan with Virginia State Police says she was charged with reckless driving for failure to maintain control of a vehicle. The truck driver, 31-year-old Elian Sagaba, wasn't hurt. Sheehan says police charged him with driving a commercial vehicle in the left lane. Tractor trailers cannot drive in the left lane if they're going 65 miles, if the, if the posted speed limit is 65 miles per hour um, or less, and the tractor trailer was in the left lane. To avoid a crash like this, Sheehan warns drivers to get their cars inspected often. Driving with slick or bald tires during this weather is very, very dangerous. She adds that drivers who hydroplane in the rain should follow this important step. Trying to just let their vehicle kind of come to a, a slow and then try to get it straight back onto the road. By jerking the wheel, sometimes you can make it a lot worse. Sheehan also reminds drivers to drive slowly and keep your windshield wipers and lights on while traveling in rainy conditions. Live in Hanover, Nicole Dantzler, 8 News.